Hey guys, I have a new story for you all. It's a Cuban folk tale. It's called Martina the Beautiful Cockroach. I hope everyone enjoys. Martina the Beautiful Cockroach, a Cuban folk tale, retold by Carmen Agra Didi, illustrated by Michael Austin. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha was a beautiful cockroach. She lived in a cozy street lamp in Old Havana with her big, lovable family. Now that Martina was 21 days old, she was ready to give her leg in marriage. The Cucaracha household was crawling with excitement. Every senora in the family had something to offer. Tia Cucha gave her una pineta, a seashell comb. Mama gave her una mantilla, a lace shawl. But Abuela, her Cuban grandmother, gave her some shocking advice. You want me to do what? Martina was aghast. You are a beautiful cockroach, said Abuela. Finding husbands to choose from will be easy. Picking the right one could be tricky. But, but, but stammered Martina. How will spilling coffee on a suitor's shoes help me find a good husband? Her grandmother smiled. It will make him angry. Then you will know how he will speak to you when he loses his temper. Trust me, Martina. The coffee test never fails. Martina wasn't so sure. Meanwhile, Papa sent El Perico, the parrot, to spread the word. Soon, all of Havana from, Havana, from the busy sidewalks of El Prado to El Moro Castle, was abuzz with the news. Martina, the beautiful cockroach, was ready to choose a husband. As was the custom, Martina would greet her suitors from the balcony. Under her family's many watchful eyes, daintily she sat down and crossed her legs and crossed her legs and crossed her legs. She didn't have to wait long. Don Gallio, the rooster, strutted up first. Martina tried not to stare at his splendid shoes. Keeping one eye on his reflection, Don Gallio greeted her with a sweeping bow. Caramba, you really are a beautiful cockroach. I will look even more fabulous with you on my wing. With that, he leaned forward and crewed. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina hesitated only for an instant. Coffee, senor? Right on cue, Abuela appeared with a quick glance at her grandmother. Martina nervously splattered coffee onto the rooster's spotless shoes. Oh my, she said, and with mock dismay, I'm all feelers today. <laughs> the rooster was furious. Clumsy cockroach, I will teach you better manners when you are my wife. Martina was stunned. The coffee test had worked. It worked. Almost a, a, a most humble offer, offer senor. She said coolly, but I cannot accept. You are much too cocky for me. Don Cerdo, the pig, hoofed up next. His smell curled the little hairs on Martina's legs. What an un unimaginable scent, Martina wheezed. Is it some new pig cologne? Oh, no, senorita. It's the sweet aroma of my big sty. Rotten eggs, turnip peels, stinky cheese. Don Cerdo licked his chops and sang, Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? Martina had already left in search of coffee.
She wasted no time with the pig. Gronk, gronk, squealed Don Cerdo as he dabbed at the coffee on his shoes. What a tragedy for my poor loafers. He really is quite a ham, thought Martina. Calm yourself, senor. I'll clean them for you. I'll say you will, he snorted. When you are my wife, there will be no end to cleaning up after me. Martina rolled her eyes in disbelief. A most charming offer, senor, she said dryly. But I must decline. You are much too boorish for me. The coffee test had saved her from yet another unsuitable suitor. The pig was scarcely out of sight when Don Lagarto, the lizard, crept over the railing. His oily fingers brushed the little cockroach's lovely mantilla. You shouldn't sneak up on a lady like that. I don't sneak, I creep, he said, circling Martina. For some reason, this fellow really bugged her. I've had enough creeps for one day, said Martina. Adios. But I need you. Wait. The lizard fell on one scaly knee and warbled. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha. Beautiful muchacha. Won't you be my wife? Martina sighed. Let me see if there's any coffee left. This time, she wasn't taking any chances. Martina returned with two cups for the lizard. Psst, psst, he spat. Don Lagarto was livid. He changed colors three times before he finally found his true one. And to think, he hissed, I was going to eat and marry you. Martina stared at the lizard. You could have heard a breadcrumb drop. Food for thought, senor, Martina said icily. But I must refuse. You are much too cold-blooded for me. When her grandmother returned to collect the day's coffee cups, Martina was still fuming. I'm going inside, Abuela. So soon? See, si, I'm afraid of whom I might meet next. Abuela drew Martina to the railing and pointed to the garden below. What about him? Martina looked down at the tiny brown mouse, and her cockroach heart began to beat faster. Tiki tin, tiki ton. Oh, Abuela, he's adorable. Where has he been? Right here all along. What do I do? Go talk to him and just be yourself. Martina handed Abuela her piñata and mantilla, then scurried down to the garden. The mouse was waiting. Tiki tin, tiki tan. Hola, hello. His voice was like warm honey. My name is Perez. Hola, she whispered shyly. I'm Martina, the beautiful cockroach, he finished for her. You think I'm beautiful? The little mouse turned pink under his fur. Well, my eyes are rather weak, but I have excellent ears. I know you are strong and good, Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha. Then he squinted sweetly. Who cares if you are beautiful? Tiki tin, tiki tan. Martina, don't forget the coffee. It was Abuela. No, thought Martina. No coffee for Perez. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha. See, si, Abuela. Martina knew better than to argue with her Cuban grandmother. With a heavy heart, she reached for the cup. But Perez got there first. Quick as a mouse, he splashed Cafe Cubano onto Martina's shoes. Now the coffee was on the other foot. Martina was too delighted to be angry. At last, she had found her perfect match. But she had to ask, how did you know about the coffee test? Perez grinned. Well, mi amor, my love.
I too have a Cuban grandmother. Well, that is Martina, the beautiful cockroach, a Cuban folktale. I hope everyone enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.